as well as its work to Dr. Esmeralda Simmons, who I also celebrate uh, because she, as the founder, continues to be and has always been for the past 30 years uh, the source of leadership at this uh, very, very vital organization in the borough of Brooklyn. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Montgomery. Question is on the res Oh, Senator Parker. On the resolution. I rise to add my voice to Senator Montgomery's in uh, celebrating the Meg Evers Center for Law and Social Justice and all that they do. Um, for 25 years, they have been a leader, uh, not just in Brooklyn, but in the state of New York, bringing voice to the voiceless. They have been leaders in speaking truth to power and to making sure that underrepresented groups get their fair day in court. You heard Senator Montgomery enumerate the various services that they've been engaged in. Uh, but they have really been, when you look at all of them together, it's been about civil rights. It's been about helping those who don't have a chance to be represented receive representation. And so for them to be along, uh, around as long as they have been doing this work um, is really um, a testament to the commitment that particularly Esmeralda Simmons has had as the leader of that organization. And so I rise to thank her for her work, thank the, the, the folks that work with her, um, and the institution for understanding um, how important that work has been for the last 25 years. And thank you, Mr. President, for allowing us uh, to speak on this resolution. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The resolution is adopted. Senator DeFrancisco. The resolution is open for co-sponsorship. If you do not wish to be a co-sponsor, please notify the desk. Senator Would you now take up resolution 6163, read the title only, and call on Senator Gianaris to speak? Secretary Reed. Legislative resolution number 6163 by Senator Peralta, welcoming the students and faculty of the Lexington School for the Deaf, Center for the Deaf, as they visit Albany, New York, on June 7, 2016. Senator Gianaris. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of Senator Peralta, who uh, had to step out for a moment, I wanted to welcome a group of students, faculty, and administrators from the Lexington School for the Deaf and the Center for the Deaf, located in Senator Peralta's district in Queens, but just a stone's throw from my own district uh, a little bit to the west. Uh, this is a school that is well known uh, in our neighborhoods and our communities. It's been serving the deaf and hard of hearing, helping them realize their full potential uh, for many, many years. The uh, Lexington School is an institution that's been serving uh, the deaf and hard of hearing communities of New York for more than 150 years, first starting in Manhattan on Lexington Avenue, which is where the name comes from, but now um, right in Jackson Heights in Queens. Uh, and they are one of the leading advocates for the deaf and hard, hard of hearing communities. Uh, they provide services to more than 2,500 students annually and do amazing work. Uh, we welcome them to Albany, and I just want to say the reason they're here is this is a special occasion. They come up every year since my time in the assembly, I remember. This is the uh, elements of their basketball team, uh, and they, they play a team of legislators from both the assembly and the Senate every year, and mostly due to age and wear and tear on our knees and um, uh, larger bellies than we used to have when we were younger, they tend to win more than they lose, but I do need to brag that last year, the trophy came to the legislators, and we beat, uh, we beat the, uh, the fine students uh, from the Lexington School. The rematch is, uh, is later today, uh, and I dare say we intend to defend, uh, defend the title vigorously and, and hope to keep, uh, keep the legislature proud of, uh, of those aged members who play and, and take on these young uh, spring chickens, um, and hopefully we'll, we'll do our best to, uh, to defeat them once again. But mostly we want to welcome them. They're a fine uh, group of young people. Uh, we're very happy to represent them and to have them come visit us every year. Uh, and while we wish them luck, we don't want anyone injured on the court, uh, we don't wish them enough luck that they actually win today. So welcome. Senator Hamilton. Uh, yes, Mr. President, I rise to your recognition to the Lexington School for the Deaf. It's a highly uh, esteemed school uh, in the city of New York. 
They have a lot of great students who are academically motivated uh, to do better. Um, in my district, I have St. Francis uh, de Salle School, and I do recognize two of the young men up there who played in the basketball tournament uh, at the school. They didn't win, but they're still great players. And I just want to say that their motivation, uh, and, and they actually didn't play another school that was deaf. They played a school where the people could hear. And so they play any team, at any time, anywhere. And I just wish that the Senate could give, and the Assembly can give more money uh, to the Lexington School for the Deaf and also uh, the St. Francis de Salle School. Uh, as the funding formula has changed over the years, these schools have been getting shortchanged in the funding formula. So as we see these young men and women here today, uh, we need to make sure they have all the resources that they need to be productive, have the skill sets in our community. Uh, they are fighting one challenge, but the challenge they should not be fighting is funding. So I, I say to everyone in this room, we, we must give more money to these schools, uh, and they're doing a great job. And I just want to thank Lexington School for the Deaf for coming here today and making sure that you are seen and making sure that your voices are heard and that we're here to support you and make sure you get the resources that you need in order to have, um, in one example in one school, they didn't have a proper alarm system. Uh, the, they couldn't get funding for the alarm system. They need specialized alarms. They need special uh, tools for reading. And for some reason, we're giving them less and less in our funding formula. So I, I congratulate you all for coming here today. Keep up the good work, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. No other. With the, uh, the, uh, the Senate welcomes you, and we would like the students and faculty of the Lexington School who are here with us to please rise and allow the Senate to recognize you. Thank you very much. The question is on the resolution. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The resolution is adopted. Senator DeFrancisco. Let's open it up for co-sponsorship. The resolution is open for co-sponsorship. If you do not wish to be a co-sponsor, please notify the desk. Uh, may we now return to motions and resolutions? Motions and resolutions without objection. And uh, may we, you, would you please call on Senator Valeski? Senator Valeski. the nominations right now. Uh, on page 22, I offer the following amendments to calendar 608, Senate Bill 6809, and ask that said bill retain its place on the third reading calendar. So ordered. Senator DeFrancisco. I mean, there are appointments for confirmation at the desk. There are. Okay, that being the case, I would request that we uh, uh, announce the, uh, the uh, appointments in category as lump sums in each category, and then I'll move each of them. The Secretary will read. As Director of the Municipal Bond Bank Agency, Honorable Mark J. F. Schroeder of Buffalo. Move the nomination. Question is on the... No the question is on the nomination as read by the secretary. All those in favor of, of the nomination as read by the secretary, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. Nomination as read by the secretary is confirmed. All right, would you please uh, call up the members of the State Board for Historic Preservation? Secretary will read. As members of the State Board for Historic Preservation, C. Jake Schneider of Lakeview, Douglas J. Pirelli, PhD of Buffalo, J. A. D. Lorenzo of Schenectady, and Wayne Goodman of Rochester. Move each of the nominations. Senator Hamilton. President, I rise to express my concern. There are numerous uh, appointments by the governor, uh, and, but there's only one from the borough or the county of Kings. Kings County is the largest county in the state of New York, and I don't understand how we only have one appointment. I wish the governor will have uh, uses better discretion, and when appointing people, Look at the counties that gave him the highest vote margin in the state. So I just want to say I'm concerned and disappointed that we only have one person out of all these people being appointed from the County of Kings, the largest county in the state, 
in other counties which are only a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, a tenth, a twentieth of our size have more appointments than us. So, you know, so according to the population. So there's, a, there's something that's inherently wrong when you have a county with 2.4 million people getting less appointments in a county with less than 200,000 people. So I, I, I would urge the governor that we have a large state, the North Country and New York City, or I call it one country, but I think he needs, needs to take more recognition in looking at the county that gave him more votes than in the county in the state. But for some reason, unbeknownst to me, we only have one nomination from the county of Kings. So I will vote in favor of these appointments, but I just want, to, want it to be known for the record that I am not uh, thrilled that only one person from Kings County is in one of these, in these appointments. Thank you very much, Mr. Senator President. Senator Hamilton recorded in the affirmative. The question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All in favor of confirming the nominations as read by the Secretary, please signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, nay. The nominations as read by the Secretary are confirmed. Senator please DeFrancisco. call up the members of the uh, Saratoga Capital District State Park Recreation Historic Preservation Commission. Secretary will read. As members of the Saratoga Capital District State Park Recreation Historic Preservation Commission, Thomas O. Mags of Scotia and Mark T. Ryan of Mechanicville. Question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor of confirming the nominations as read by the Secretary, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nominations as read by the Secretary are confirmed. Please call up the members of the Allegheny State uh, Park, etc. Commission. Secretary will read. As a member of the Allegheny State Park Recreation and Historic Preservation Commission, Dalton J. Burgett of Bemis Point. Question the is nomination. on the question is on the nomination as read by the Secretary. All those in favor of confirming the nomination as read by the Secretary, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nomination as read by the Secretary is confirmed. Central New York, please. Secretary will read. As a member of the Central New York State Park Recreation and Historic Preservation Commission, Cornelius Murphy, Jr., Ph.D. of Syracuse. Move the nomination. The question is on the nomination as read by the Secretary. All those in favor of confirming the nomination as read by the Secretary, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nomination as read by the Secretary is confirmed. Next, the State Park Recreation and Preservation Commission for the City of New York. Member of the State Park Recreation and Historic Preservation Commission for the City of New York, Leslie Lynn of New York. Move the nomination. The question is on the nomination as read by the Secretary. All those in favor of confirming the nomination as read by the Secretary, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nomination as read by the Secretary is confirmed. Secretary will read. As a member of the Taconic State Park Recreation and Historic Preservation Commission, Arthur L. Gellert of Poughkeepsie. Move the nomination. The question is on the nomination as read by the Secretary. All those in favor of confirming the nomination, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. Nomination is read by the Secretary is confirmed. Secretary Reed. As a member of the Finger Lake State Park Recreation and Historic Preservation Commission, Walter David Banfield of Ithaca. Move the nomination. Secretary, uh, the question is on the nomination as read by the Secretary. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. Nomination as read by the Secretary is confirmed. Secretary Reed. Member of the Long Island State Park Recreation and Historic Preservation Commission, Richard H. Remmer of Oakdale. Move the nomination. Question is on the nomination. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nomination as read by the Secretary is confirmed. Secretary. As a member of the Palisades Interstate Park Commission, Daniel Bryce O'Brien II of Bedford. The question is on the nomination as read by the Secretary. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nomination as read by the Secretary is confirmed. Secretary Reed. As members of the Continuing Care Retirement Community Council, Alicia Libel of Niagara Falls, J. Brian Nealon of Clifton Park, Wayne Kaplan of New York, Harriet Barnett of Sleepy Hollow, James Davis of New York. Nominations. Question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor of confirming the nominations as read by the Secretary, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nominations as read are confirmed. As, Secretary. As members of the Council on Human Blood and Transfusion Services, David Husky of Petersburg, Beth Heizenga Shahs, MD of New York, 
Alicia Elena Gomansoro, MD of Staten Island. Move the nominations. Question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor of confirming the nominations as read, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nominations as read by the Secretary are confirmed. The Secretary will read. As member of the State Camp Safety Advisory Council, Gordon W. Felt of Ramson. Move the nomination. Question is on a nomination as read by the Secretary. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. Nomination as read by the Secretary is confirmed. Okay. Go ahead. As members of the Minority Health Council, Nilda A. I. Soto of the Bronx, Antonio Pagan of New York, Daniel Carrion of New York. Move the nomination. Question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, no, nay. The nominations as read by the Secretary are confirmed. Senator DeFrancisco. Uh, I'd just like to make a quick announcement before we finish the nominations. Momentarily, we will be, I will be calling a Rules Committee meeting in 332 of the uh, Capitol. So those who are not in chambers, start uh, heading towards that uh, conference room so we can move things along at a reasonable pace. Would you continue with the nominations? The Secretary will continue. As members of the Administrative Review Board for Professional Medical Conduct, Linda Prescott Wilson of Laurelton, John Deanna of Staten Island, Richard Malone, MD of Rye. The nominations. The question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nominations as read by the Secretary are confirmed. Move the nomination. Question is on the nominations read by the Secretary. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nomination as read is confirmed. As members of the Behavioral Health Services Advisory Council, Maura A. Kelly of Buffalo, Kunsuk Song Bernstein, PhD of Baldwin, Jennifer Havens of New York, John Kasten, PhD of New York, Tino Hernandez of New York, Euphemia Strongton Adams of Staten Island, Lawrence S. Brown, Jr., MD of Brooklyn, William T. Getman, Jr. of Glenmont, Paul N. Samuels of New York. Move the nomination. Senator Rivera. Mr. President, I just want to briefly, uh, there's two individuals that we're, that we're voting on here right now that I have had the pleasure and the honor of working with uh, extensively, Dino Hernandez and Paul Samuels uh, from Samaritan Village and the second gentleman from the Legal Action Center. They are uh, wonderful individuals, they're wonderful New Yorkers, I'm very proud to be supportive of them here today. Thank you, Mr. President. The question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nominations as read by the Secretary are confirmed. Go ahead. As members of the Justice Center Advisory Council, Ronald, Ronald Lair of Poughkeepsie, Kathy A. O'Keefe of East Northport, Euphemia Strongton Adams of Staten Islands, Harvey B. Rosenthal of Greenwich, William T. Getman Jr. of Glenmont, and Peter Pieri of New York. Move the nominations. The question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor, signify, signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. Nominations as read by the Secretary are confirmed. Mr. President, can we now go back to motions and move to accept? Oh, move to accept. There is, one, there is one more sheet for confirmation oh, on the desk. Okay, I'm sorry. Continue that. Secretary will read. As members of the New York State Bridge Authority, Henry J. Stanton of Yorktown Heights, Roger Higgins of New Hamburg. Move the nominations. The question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, nay. The nominations as read by the Secretary are confirmed. The Secretary will read. As members of the Rochester Genesee Regional Transportation Authority, William N. Faber of Rochester, Richard D. Cosmerl of Arcade, Donald E. Jeffries of Rochester, Kelly O'Connor of Rochester. The question is on the nominations as read by the Secretary. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. The nominations as read are confirmed. Secretary will read. As a member of the Capital District Transportation Authority, Denise Figueroa of Cohoes. 
Move the nomination. The question is on the nomination. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, nay. Nomination as read is confirmed. As member of the Central New York Regional Transportation Authority, Joseph A. Hardick of Syracuse. Move the nomination. The question is on the nomination. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, nay. The nomination as read is confirmed. Senator DeFrancisco. May we now go back to motions and resolutions? Motions and resolutions. On page 65, I offer the following amendments to Senator Ranzenhofer's bill, calendar 1331, Senate print 7913A, and ask the bill retain its place on the third reading calendar. So ordered. As promised, I now move uh, to, I now call a, uh, an immediate meeting of the Rules Committee in room 332. We still have a full calendar and a lot of bills on rules. The sooner we start rules, the sooner we leave today. There will so, be an immediate meeting of the Rules Committee in room 332. Senate will stand at ease. Come to order. Senator DeFrancisco. Return to reports of standing committees. We will return to reports of standing committees. I believe there is a report of the Rules Committee at the desk. There is a report of the Rules Committee at the desk, and the Secretary will read. Senator Flanagan from the Committee on Rules reports the following bills. Senator Print 92A by Senator Gallivan, an act amend the Environmental Conservation Law. Senate 96 by Senator Gallivan, an act amend the Tax Law. Senate 216A by Senator Laval, an act amend the education law. Senate 262B by Senator Diaz, an act amend the elder law. Senate 457 by Senator Marcelino, an act amend the vehicle and traffic law. Senate 2496A by Senator Adabo, an act amend the tax law. Senate 2694 by Senator Felder, an act amend the education law. Senate 2700 by Senator Felder, an act to direct. Senate 2866 by Senator Felder, an act to direct. Senate 2925 by Senator DeFrancisco, an act amend the general obligations law. Senate 3265A by Senator Sanders, an act amend the agriculture and markets law. Senate 3464C by Senator Croce, an act amend the executive law. Senate 3925 by Senator Venditto, an act amend the corrections law. Senate 3926 by Senator Seward, an act amend the penal law. Senate 4051A by Senator Lanza, an act amend the education law. Senate 4771E by Senator Funky, an act amend the general business law. Senate 5216A by Senator Savino, an act amend the public health law. Senate 5248 by Senator Lanza, an act amend the environmental conservation law. Senate 5477 by Senator O'Mara, an act amend the environmental conservation law. Senate 5624 by Senator Savino, an act amend the banking law. Senate 5789B by Senator Valeski, an act amend the public health law. Senate 5863 by Senator Peralta, an act amend the agriculture and markets law. Senate 6027A by Senator DeFrancisco, an act amend the labor law. Senate 6233A by Senator Lanza, an act amend the navigation law. Senate 6250A by Senator Ort, an act amend the tax law. Senate 6665 by Senator Akshar, an act amend the environmental conservation law. Senate 6675 by Senator Ort, an act amend the navigation law. Senate 6815 by Senator Griffo, an act amend the penal law. Senate 6864A by Senator Boyle, an act amend the executive law. Senate 6894 by Senator Lanza, an act amend the penal law. Senate 6915A by Senator Ort, an act amend the mental hygiene law. Senate 6922 by Senator Serino, an act amend the social services law. Senate 6923 by Senator Serino, an act amend the elder law. Senate 7121 by Senator Lanza, an act amend the real property tax law. Senate 7464 by Senator Marchon, an act amend the agriculture and markets law. Senate 7475 by Senator Funky, an act amend chapter 138 of the laws of 1998. Senate 7480 by Senator Murphy, an act amend the executive law. Senate 7681 by Senator Young, an act amend the executive law. Senate 7690 by Senator Serino, an act amend the labor law. Senate 7691 by Senator Serino, an act amend the elder law. 
Senate 7752 by Senator Ort, an act amending environmental conservation law. Senate 7772 by Senator Laval, an act amending environmental conservation law. Senate 7894 by Senator Amador, an act amending executive law. Senate 7908 by Senator Laval, an act in relation to creating. Senate 7922 by Senator Savino, an act amending chapter 62 of the laws of 2011. Senate 7952 by Senator Carlucci, an act to authorize. And Senate 7983 by Senator Avella, an act amend the social services law. All bills reported direct to third reading. Senator DeFrancisco. Move to accept the report of the Rules Committee. All in favor of accepting the Committee on Rules Report signify by saying aye. aye. 